Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another Launchbox for Android news video. Today, we're proud to announce that version 1.4 has been released. And just like all new Launchbox releases, be it for x86 PC platform or Android, lots of fixes, improvements, and some awesome new features. Okay, so without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All game views can now be sorted by any field, both ascending or descending, and all game views will now remember the previously selected game. We're going to head to all games because we have a lot to work with here. And right now, I've got mine set up by release date. If we head up here to the menu, you can see we've got a new option. Sort by release date. So I've got mine going from newest to oldest, and if we want to swap this out from ascending to descending, we can go right back here. We're going to tap on release date one more time. And now we've got it going from oldest to newest. Really handy feature. And if we take a look at what we've got to work with here, date added, date modified, developer, game completed, genre, last played, launch box database ID, max players, platform, play count, play mode, publisher, rating, region, release date, release type, series, source, star rating, status, title, and version. So we've got a lot to sort with, and this works in any platform. So if I was to head to my Game Boy Color section, we're going to sort by, and let's just go with release date again. And remember, this is now set up to remember your last selected game. So from all games, we had Tekken 6 selected. We'll go with Dirt 2 now. We'll go back to our Game Boy Color. It should be on Carmageddon. One more time here. All games. We're at Dirt 2. So yeah, these new features are definitely going to make it easier to kind of sort through your games to find something that you want to play. And in my opinion, a really useful option to use would be sorting by star rating. That way we know we're getting a pretty good game. If a lot of other people like it, there's a chance you might also. Another new option that's been added to 1.4 is selecting a random game to play. Just going to go into my all game section from the top menu here, select random game. So we can go through, find a random game, and when it's time to play, we can play it directly from here. And by the way, this does work in all platform categories. I'm just in my all game section because it gives me a little variety when I'm selecting a random game. But yeah, this is really cool. It's something that's been in LaunchBox for PC for a long time, and now it's over here on Android. And it definitely makes for a fun experience when you can't decide exactly what to play. Now, as we know, some of these platforms can get quite large, at least our ROM collection can. When it comes to the easier to emulate stuff, NES, Game Boy, we can keep them pretty small, and internal storage usually works out really well for that. When it comes to Dreamcast, PSP, and GameCube, our collections can get quite large. And with 1.4, we've now added the option to change our ROM path. So inside of a platform, just head up to the settings, change ROM folder path. Now this isn't going to move the games we already have, we'll have to do that manually. But instead of deleting those games and re-importing them, we can just move them over to a different storage device, be it to internal storage or micro SD card. And from the platform, we can change that ROM path. And this will work out really well going from internal to SD card. It's just going to make it a lot easier to add more storage. And we don't have to do a total re-import if we have a lot of games for that specific platform. So this is very welcome with LaunchBox 1.4. And some of you might have noticed that we have a new section down here, recently played. This was added in the new update. So all of the games that you've recently played will be listed here. You don't have to go back into each individual platform to find that game that you like playing. If it's recently played, it's going to be listed here at the very bottom, recently played, and we can get right back into gameplay. Very easy to use. There's also an awesome new setting to include non-game Android apps. You can now choose show all apps on the device, and if you delete an app, LaunchBox will remember it and not show it again. Right off the bat, LaunchBox for Android is going to scan through all of your Android apps, and it's going to find everything categorized as a game. As you can see from my section here, we've got a lot of stuff, but I've got way more apps than this installed on this device, and if you want to show those, it's actually pretty easy. So from the main menu, we're going to head up here to Options. We're going to scroll down until we see Behavior, and I've got mine set up to parse and add Android games on startup. That way, when I download a new game from Google Play, LaunchBox will scan that when it starts up and add it to my Android section. It only does that with games right now, but if you enable Include Non-Android Apps, it's now going to scan through all of the apps that you have installed. So I'm going to go ahead and exit LaunchBox, 
And now, when I head to my Android section, I've got a bunch of stuff installed that's non-game related. So it's added some benchmarks. I believe the calculator is going to be listed here. We've got CPU flow. And sometimes games and emulators for Android just aren't categorized as a game. And LaunchBox can't decipher that. So with this method here, we can manually go through and delete the stuff we don't want in LaunchBox for Android. So I'm going to go ahead and delete IDA64. We'll just long press on it. It'll bring up our context menu. We can delete it from here. I'll go through a few more here. We'll get rid of CPU float and egg installer. LaunchBox is going to remember that I deleted those. It's not automatically going to re-add those apps. And there's definitely a lot more here that I just want to delete from LaunchBox for Android. But this way, it will find all of the apps on your device. And if you wanted to add something that's non-game related, you can easily do it. As you can see, those apps are no longer listed here. And real quick, there has been a fix implemented for the DS emulator known as Drastic. In the past, some people were having problems starting up those games through LaunchBox, but that's been fixed with version 1.4. So we can now use the Drastic emulator like normal with this version. So yeah, we've got some awesome new features with LaunchBox for Android 1.4 and hope you enjoy this release. If you have any questions, definitely let us know in the comments below. And keep an eye on the channel and the forum because we always have new stuff coming. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. And like always, Thanks for watching.